Hi there, today I am going to discuss about the recto uterine pouch and utero vesicle pouch which are present in females. These pouches are the peritoneal reflections which are present in front and posterior to the uterus. So starting with recto uterine pouch. Recto uterine pouch otherwise called as recto vaginal pouch which is a culdi sac or the pouch of Douglas which is a double folding of the peritoneum between the posterior wall of the uterus and rectum in females. So here is the uterus and this one is the rectum and the pouch between the rectum and the uterus, this peritoneal reflection. So let's see the boundaries of this pouch. Anteriorly it is bounded by the uterus. We can see anteriorly the posterior wall of the uterus and the posterior fornix of vagina. So this is the posterior fornix of vagina and posteriorly it is bounded by the rectum and inferiorly it is bounded by the peritoneal recto vaginal fold. So recto vaginal fold of peritoneum. Next about the vesico uterine pouch. It is a double folding of peritoneum between the anterior surface of the uterus and the posterior surface of the bladder. Like recto uterine pouch, it is a female pelvic recess and this space is also continuous superiorly with the peritoneal cavity. So the broad ligament and the round ligament of uterus are lateral and posterior to this space. So the gap between the urinary bladder and the uterus is called as The vesico-uterine pouch or uterovesical pouch may become attached to the uterus preventing sliding of the urinary bladder past the uterus. So we can see that this pouch is not that prominent as recto-uterine pouch because the both the peritoneal reflections they make this pouch very small because the ut uh, uterus becomes almost near to the urinary, adheres to the urinary bladder and uh, this uh, prevents the sliding of the urinary bladder past the uterus. So this may occur in third of women who have uh, or had a caesarean section. And some people with endometriosis, uh, the vesico-uterine pouch is an important anatomical landmark for chronic endometriosis. Endometriosis means it is a formation of ectopic endometrial tissues. So during chronic endometriosis, this pouch becomes an anatomical landmark. And endometrial uh, shedding in this region causes cyclical pain in the woman of childbearing age. So this pouch is an important factor uh, in a retroverted uterus because which can frequently complicate pregnancies. So normally the uterus is forward bended, so antiverted uterus. So in retroverted uterus, uh, this pouch makes as an important uh, factor which uh, frequently complicate the pregnancies. So this completes the anatomy of recto uterine and vesico uterine pouch or utero vesicle pouch. Thank you.